Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Eileen here with a new poll tutorial. Today we're gonna be learning how to do the monkey. So for this one, we're gonna go up the pole for a layback and from there we're going to transition first our hands and then our legs. So you can choose which side of monkey you're going to do. You can do either with your right arm on top and left at the bottom. So make sure that here you have a nice grip on the armpit and here you have a nice full bracket pushing away. So make sure that your bottom arm is gonna be straight pushing the pole and your upper arm is gonna be grabbing the pole tightly on your armpit. Same thing if you choose your other side. So if you choose your other side, you're gonna have your left on top on that armpit grabbing, right arm pushing the pole nicely and straight, okay? So just know that once you get up, you have to know which side you're going to choose to go to, either with right on top or left on top. So just know that you have to keep one arm gripping on the armpit and the other one straight pushing away. So you transition first the arms and then you transition your legs. When you transition your legs, you're going to have your inside leg gripping on the knee, bending that leg, and the outside leg is gonna be gripping on the top of your foot, right on the ankle. So make sure that you have a nice grip there. That leg is gonna be straight. So your inside leg is bent, but your outside leg is straight. Your inside leg is gripping on the knee. Your outside leg is gripping on the ankle. So you're gonna start standing right in front of the pole and go for a couple of climbs into your lay back. So sitting position, legs up, chest down, and drop all the way back. I'm gonna choose my right side, so arm goes in front. I'm gonna push away to take the left straight, right on top, grip on the armpit. From here, I'm gonna transition the legs like I said. I'm gonna take my inside leg on the knee and outside leg on the ankle. I can slide my arms to get into that position. You can be comfortable here, stay as long as you want, and to come down you can just take the knee down first, drop down on the floor. I'm going to show it from another angle now so you can spot that change, so make sure you're always gripping nicely on the armpit, keeping the bottom arm straight, and when you transition the legs, transition both at the same time. One knee on the pole, ankle on the pole. And take your time to take those arms. So as you can see, first I reach with the arm that I'm gonna grip on my armpit to push away from the pole to create space to get my body next to the pole, be able to reach with the outside arm straight and then rearrange again the right arm to be able to really get on the position. So you can do that or go directly to it, but it's easier and more comfortable to help yourself with that arm to make space to be able to reach all the way through. So another thing to keep in mind is your hip. Make sure you rotate your hip as you go. So I'm gonna go for my climbs again. On my sitting position. And I'm gonna go with the right again. So reaching through to push away, get the left straight, change the armpit, slide that bottom arm, make sure it's always straight and you can have a nice angle here. From here we transition, make sure you got really tight armpit here. Let's transition as you slide a little this arm as well to be comfortable. So I transition, I have the knee gripping tightly, the ankle here, nice 
and tight. Make sure that your hip is in front of the pole, so it's not sideways, it's in front of the pole. And from here, the leg comes down, control to come down on the floor. So as I said, it's important to make sure that your hip is also in front of the pole. Don't keep it sideways because as you reach with your arms, your hip is gonna be sideways. But once you transition your legs, your hip is gonna rotate in front of the pole. So make sure that you do that rotation. Don't fight it. So as I said, important things are gripping nicely on that armpit, keeping the bottom arm straight and sliding it as much as you need to be able to feel that push. If your arm is too high, it can bend or you're not gonna feel a nice push. So make sure it's on the right angle for you to be able to push nicely. Keeping that armpit also very tight on the pole. The tighter you grip that armpit on the pole, the more stable you will feel and the more secure you will feel to be able to transition your legs. Take your time with this, take your time with the arms. You can just work on the arms first multiple times and when you feel like you've got the arms right, then you can go and try changing the legs. So just take all the time you need to transition arms and then legs. It's a difficult trick, so don't worry if it takes time, just give it your best, try as much as you can. Practice is everything, so don't be overwhelmed by it. Just do your best and you'll get there. Just make sure you're doing everything nicely and smooth and you're controlling every step of the way. You can use a mattress on the floor just in case you slide or fall just to be safe. You shouldn't fall if you're gripping nicely on your arms and always controlling, but it's always nice to keep a security down on the floor. And just make sure you're always on the right angle, pushing with those arms, feeling those legs tight on the pole, gripping nicely. Also make sure that you try both sides. So if you try leaning into your right, then try leaning into your left. So make sure that you're always trying both sides as much as you can, even if your other side doesn't work so well, just give it your best, do what you can. Just try to work as much as you can both sides. Okay guys, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned how to do the monkey. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I will be happy to help you in any way I can. You can also reach out to me through social media, send me your videos or pictures so I can spot you and help you. And if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications, share with your friends and leave in the comments all the feedback or questions that you have for me. As I said, I will be always happy to connect with you and help you in any way that I can. I hope that you all have an amazing day and I hope I will see you soon on my next video. Bye.